Now Plus Ghana Limited will be among many Ghanaian innovators to benefit from the policy of using local materials for construction. The company generates bricks from recycled plastic waste, a process which makes the materials cheaper as compared with the traditional methods of building. Minister for Works and Housing has assured of government support to help bridge the housing gap. One of the areas that we want to make it an integral part of our affordable housing program. I've had opportunity to engage the Ministry of Education and in fact I've formally written to, to, to the Minister and as a result he has incorporated the use of local bent bricks into the new uh, government schools that is going to be bent. I've done the same with the Minister of Health so that they also incorporate local bent Break, uh, uh, bend breaks into the construction of chip compounds and other hospital uh, clinic uh, facilities. So government is committed to making sure that as much as possible we use uh, our local building materials to make construction costs uh, reduce and make it affordable so that in the long run Ghanaians can also find homes to be affordable and they can buy and, and, and live in. Founder of Nelplast Limited, Nelson Boatin, after taking the minister and delegation on a tour, requested to be given some of the affordable housing units as government support to his business. For us, what Nelplast is seeking is ne uh, the, the, the government should help us in giving us houses to build. If the government is able to give us even 1,000 houses to build, it will change the state of the company forever. Now we can build for younger Ghanaians and even put them on credit. Our, our vision is to see every Ghanaian earning between 500 to 1,000 dollars to also own a house. Because the real estate that we have, estate companies that we have, they are mentioning that is 200,000 big, we cannot afford. Even me, I cannot afford. So, Nail Plus wants to see every Ghanaian own a house that's earning between 500 to 1,000 to also own a house. The project is providing employment to more than 300 artisans.